Welcome to Stocks That Can Double Series. Stock number two is Paycom. I have previously done two videos on Paycom, so I will not be repeating most of the details that I did cover in those videos. In those videos, I have mentioned that if Paycom falls to about $150, I would be interested in buying, and currently it's at $160, so I'm interested. In this video, I'm going to walk Paycom through the five filters that I look at in a business before I invest. And before I move any further, I want to clarify that this is not financial advice. I'm not qualified to give financial advice. This is simply me recording my thoughts. The first filter is value proposition. As we all know, Paycom is a payroll processing company that competes with the likes of ADP. It has about 5% market share in the US and its software Betai is the payroll processing software that lets the companies make less mistakes in their payroll and thereby less number of reruns. Usually these payment companies, they make money when the companies make a mistake in the payroll and they do the reruns. So they incur cost by doing that. But Paycom is saying that their software, Betai, will reduce those number of reruns significantly and thereby saving a lot of money for the companies. In the short run, it may feel like the companies will spend less on Paycom, but over a period of time, they will like the product. So that's their value proposition. The second filter is gross margins. Paycom has over 80% gross margins, so they can easily achieve 25 to 30% net profit margins. The third thing that I look at is the balance sheet, and Paycom has close to $346 million of cash and cash equivalents on their balance sheet, and almost no debt, so that's a great balance sheet. Number four that I look at is the growth aspect, like the potential for growth. The stock has fallen significantly in the recent quarters because they were growing at a much higher pace and recently they said they can only grow at about 9% year over year. So that has spooked the investors. But in my opinion, there are multiple reasons for that. And one reason is they are focusing too much on this beta product and promoting that. But in my opinion, they can re-accelerate their growth because they are giving a unique value proposition with beta. Secondly, they have to do international expansion. And when they do international expansion, they should be able to capture some revenue from those destinations. And Paycom has a lot of cash on their balance sheet, so they can hire more marketing teams. Right now, their marketing team is smaller, so they're making sure that they're going to get a bigger marketing team now, and they can go and get more clients for them. So that is another reason why I think they can re-accelerate the growth. And finally, the unemployment rate in the US should come back and therefore more employees should be getting on the payroll and thereby increasing the business for Paycom. So because of all these reasons, I feel Paycom can reignite their growth potential. And the last filter is valuation. I did not invest in Paycom when it was at like $250 because I didn't like the valuation. I thought it was too expensive. But now at $163 stock price, its market cap is $9 billion and revenue for the past 12 months is about $1.8 billion. So that's the price to sales of five, which is not expensive. And when you look at the P ratio, it's under 20, which is actually good for a company that has very healthy balance sheet, very healthy net profit margins and decent growth. So it also pays a dividend of 1%, as you can see on the screen. So Paycom is not an expensive stock. And one thing that I want to add is that companies like these that are stable usually get 20 multiple, even if they're not growing at all. But Paycom is growing at 9% in the most recent quarter, and they can get back to double digits in my opinion. So they should be able to get a higher multiple in future, thereby increasing the stock price. And let me show you a quick snip of uh, the valuation that I think is feasible. I'm assuming 10% growth rate year over year. It's going to grow faster than that in my opinion, but I'm assuming 10% with which they can have $2.7 billion of revenue in 2028. Their net margins are assumed to be 20% here, but they should get more than that because their gross margins are 80% plus. And I assume that the net income would be about $0.5 billion in 2028. I'm assigning a multiple of 30, I think it should get even more. With that, they will have a market cap of $16 billion in 2028. Currently, they have close to 55 million outstanding shares, but they announced $1 billion of buybacks. That's almost 10% of the company that they can buy right now if they want to. So I'm assuming 50 million outstanding shares by 2028. I think they will have even less, but I'm being conservative here. With that, they will have a stock price of $325 in 2028. That's 
almost four years out, right? And current stock price is $160, therefore I think it can double in the next two to five years. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.